guys welcome to my class today we are going to learn how to design one way or two way slab in stack pro so let's begin first open stack pro click on new project select space you can choose the name and location length unit meter force unit kilonewton you can change the length and force unit then click on next then click on add view then finish ok now here is a drawing or easy of 2a slab and 1a slab now what is 2a slab ly by lx ly means long span lx means short span if a slab long span defined by short span less than 2 then it will be 2 a slab and if the slab long span by short span greater than 2 then it will be 1 a slab you can see here is 2 different slab this length is 5 meter and this length is 4 meter so 5 by 4 is equal to 1.25 it is less than 2 so it will be 2 way slab and for this slab the long span is 9 meter and short span is 4 meter 9 by 4 is equal to 2.25 it is greater than 2 so it is 1 way slab ok now we have to design 2 different slab in stack so go to set pro click node first create a node first switch up the grid now select the node by node cursor copy the node from your keyboard ctrl c and paste the node on from keyboard ctrl v in the x direction is 5 meter and then 9 meter and z direction is meter so x direction is 5 meter ok then copy this node ctrl c from your keyboard ctrl v from pressed in the x direction 9 meter ok now copy the 3 nodes ctrl c paste ctrl v in the z direction 4 ok now we have our slab 2 divine slab now we have to add beams ok so select the nodes go to geometry connect beam along x axis and z axis ok now our slabs are created eh, sorry beams are created now we have to fix the beams fix the beams sorry columns fix the edge now for that go to support page click on create select the fix support add now select the supports click on support click on assign to selected nodes and assign and yes close it now we have to create slab for that go to generate surface machine now click the edge of the slab go to quadrantal machine division 1 for both side apply now we have to create this slab again click edge of the slabs quadrantal machine division 1 and apply you can change the 3d view this is the 3d view now we have to give them property for that go to property page now click on define rectangle for beams we are going to give 250 millimeter by 350 millimeter then click on add 
now close it now click on thickness or slab thickness or plate thickness it will be 200 millimeter for in meter 0.2 add close now select the beam property select the beam cursor select all the beams now click on assign to selected beams assign yes the thickness select the plate cursor select all plates click on assign to selected plates assign yes check the 3d view now this is our beam and slabs now i have to give them load now this is important click on load case detail click on add loading type date give title date add close click on date and add self weight add member load for beam give minus 8 kilonewton add and flow load now pressure minus 4 and add it twice okay we add twice now close it now select self weight it goes to total structure assign to view yes now first select the first load double click on it to change it or you can click on that click on edit to edit the range or load now when I give the you can see stat will take two slab both are two way this is two way this two way but we are not going to do this slab two way we are going to design as one way for this slab and for this slab we are going to design two way so I am going to change the range for the first slab or two way slab I am going to change the range now switch to node cursor now double click on this node now in x range minimum 0 minimum 0 and in this x direction now double click on this node and maximum range for this slab is 5 now change maximum 5 z z minimum is 0 z t is direction maximum is 4 give 4 and click on change and this is this is the for 2 slab and for 1 way slab double click on this load and I am going to change the range minimum range for this slab is in x direction 5 minimum 5 maximum is 14 maximum 1 4 for Z range minimum is 0 and for maximum Z is 4 4 now switch to click on the one way distribution and towards to longer span you can see the load goes to the longer span now click on change you can see this is for the 2A slab this is blue shown in blue current load and this is 1A slab showing blue ok now you have to keep the load to member go to beam cursor select the beams click on the selected beams 
are signed yes similarly you can give load to i've load okay now i have to design the slab for that go to design concrete design current code bs 8007 select the parameters looking to select clear fc and if i mean composite strength and yield strength okay define the parameters cover is 0 0.025 and fc is 20,000 works or you can go to the moment MOI local apply okay see the moments okay go to modeling select plate double click on it and you can see the traces now give the take the moment take the four moment and take the maximum moment and design it by manually you can design it by manually by taking the maximum moment from here okay so that's it this is how you can design and analyze two way slab in Stack Pro. If you have any problem, comment on my video. If if the video is helpful to you, you can comment why or if it not helpful to you, you can comment in on my video okay so thank you 